wanted to film a little update on this tank. The cyclic grow out 2.0. Nothing special, just wanted to show everybody and talk a little bit about them. This threw all our cichlids from uh, Greg from Clearwater. They turned out to be pretty aggressive cichlids. They, they were the ones harassing the one-eyed male Akara that I had to put in the hospital for now. One of them was the biggest, one was medium and one was small, but right now the middle one almost cut up to the biggest, biggest guy. They have this interesting light blue crumbs or uh, colored features on their exterior that I haven't seen right away and they, they sort of started showing a little later I don't know where the little guy is I have to go look for him Greg Severum, right shoulder, is doing well. Mike and Amanda Silva Dollars, okay. The 10 old Lima Shovel Nose, there are the smaller ones. As I said before, half of them for us grow to over one and a half foot, and the other half stays around one foot. So that's the ones that stay smaller, they live in this tank. Yo-Yo Loach, I don't know, it looks like 5-6 inches. <laughs> it's huge. White Salm, Green Terror. Gold some. That's a two-eyed male blue acara. Doing okay. The Aura were attacking this smaller one. That's the smaller Aura. He grew also, but he's still clearly far smaller than those other two. Wonder if he's a male and those two are females. We have. As I reported many times, we have this white crud problem with some of the cichlids, still have them. We have this problem on this electric blue Carpintis. The, uh, the smallest uh, Sinspilum also had it, but right now he sort of... Unless this is a medium-sized one, what is the smallest? The smallest Sinspilum... Oh, here he is, yeah. Yeah, he still has a few patches here and there of that white crud that uh, afflicts many of our cichlids. I think it's the high bacterial count in the water. I have to clean the sump. I have to clean the filter for this tank. I noticed when I do that, these things subside or go away entirely. The little belly crawler pike cichlid from Mike and Amanda. Pretty smart and brazen guy. Mike and Amanda, Amanda's four line pim in the back, pim catfish. This electric blue doesn't have that affliction that the other one has. One of the bigger umbies. Out of the five that are in there, in there, this is our pleco breathe. 
Okay, if I have the OVI, I know this one of the females or whatever. I don't know if that's a female, but it's, it's claiming the area right, right in the middle where the two dragons are. The standard fin, Altum Piru Altum Angel, dominates the long fin a little bit too much. So his fins, the long fin, one's fins a little tattered, of course. Or Delhazy. The two little uh, Senegali from Mike and Amanda, and the big Senegali in the back from Parker. Doing well. The king of the tank is, of course, the Giardini Arowana. I transferred four of these hybrids, Zonatus and Spilum Vieja hybrids in here. Mike's clown knife is here as well. And the three giant Siamese glass catfish are also here. The, the little Senegali put on some size, and I mean, they took a little bit of time, but they got comfortable and eating very well. Kylo the Oscar Just like in that other tank, the cyclic grow 1.0, these two are claiming that, or I don't know, claiming, but them sort of half defending this uh, right hand side <coughs> portion of it. The red, red dove <coughs> male and his normal colored lady female over there. Haven't seen them lay eggs here yet. They've done it at least once or twice in that tank, which, which now houses longfish. Lay my shovel nose, coordinate pins with eyes which were have, have been inflicted since 2018 by that mysterious possibly columnaris outbreak that we had in, in all our tanks it affected their eyes badly but about half of them still lives out of the, out of the dozen this is Parker's yo-yo um, also that he brought here, I don't know, five years ago or more, maybe six years ago. So this yo yo is maybe eight years old. The hybrid, the two since Spillum, the pipe. White Psalm Yo Yo is also one eyed, as you can see, he's got only one right eye, no left eye. I don't know when he lost it. It's been like that for many years. Um, adult Senegali.
female Ornatus ornate pink catfish. Some of the Pictus. I like to hang in that corner in the flow. So biggest green terror. It's got a little tatter in the cowl fin. Had some kind of <coughs> disagreement with somebody. It's a smaller red dove. I don't know if it's a male or female. Looks maleish. So out of the five dove, two of them turned red. Three of them stayed the same color. All right. As you know, we took the fire heel out of here, he was hiding way too much. It's a pike in the mouth of the dragon, inside the mouth of the dragon. <laughs> Belly crawler. The uh, fire eel used to live there from Mike and Amanda's. Now he lives in here where we can see him and hand feed him. Right there, hanging vertically. Alright, that's a little video update on the cyclic grow out 2.0.